Hi friends, welcome to New Business Ideas. Today we look into the business of how to start dehydrating vegetable business. Dehydrated vegetables can be defined as a vegetable preserved and stored with the help of dehydration techniques for a long period of time. We all know that the vegetable that is grown cannot last for a long time. In the rainy season, different vegetables are produced in large quantities, and most vegetables are perishable. So dehydrate technique is adopted to solve this problem. There are various techniques of dehydration by which the vegetable can be preserved and can be consumed whenever needed as a fresh vegetable. It is said that the dehydration technique is adopted to maintain the availability of vegetables even in the off season. In this business idea, anyone can produce and sell dehydrated vegetables as per his wish and earn a good profit and also supply them to foreign countries. Here in this video we are going to provide all the important information related to the dehydrated vegetable business. Market demand for dehydrated vegetables. On the basis of application, dehydrated vegetable market is segmented into soups, bakeries and confectionery products, infant food products, ready mixes that's ready to cook, ready to eat, seasoning, premixes etc., snack products, powdered beverages and others. Amongst applications market segments, ready mixes and soup segments are trending and acquiring major share in the global market. Now the world demand for dried and dehydrated vegetables is expected to increase over the long term as industrialized countries develop new markets and end users for these products. Being the prime export producers, developing countries are expected to gradually enlarge their share of the total export market. Investment for dehydrated vegetables business. As far as the cost of starting the dry vegetable scheme is concerned, it depends on the size of the project. If the production capacity of the plant is high, then the entrepreneur should buy such machinery for the plant, which will have its production capacity. That is why starting a large plant costs more and starting a small plant costs less. But the average cost of a project is up to rupees 25 lakhs. That is why entrepreneurs should prepare a project statement or business plan before arranging finance. That way he can know the estimated cost of his project. Land and buildings for dehydrated vegetables business. To start the business of dry vegetables, the entrepreneur also needs to arrange land and building at the selected location. The unit of entrepreneur should be present at such a place where the availability of raw material is easily available to him. Also the availability of employees there and the distance to the local market should not be too much. If such a unit is set up near the local market it can be beneficial for the entrepreneur. However to start this type of business the entrepreneur may require 500 square meters of space. Also required to be developed by the entrepreneur as a built up area for storing a vegetable warehouse, space for keeping or installing a vegetable washing tank, space for a production hall space for setting up an office etc licenses and registrations for dehydrated vegetable business the following licenses and registrations may be required by the entrepreneur to start the dehydrated vegetable business first of all the entrepreneur needs to search for the name of his business and register it in mca now the entrepreneur needs to register his business by choosing any one of the proprietorships person companies private limited companies etc GST registration and a current account with the bank and pan may also be required a trade license or factory license may be required from the local authority a food license like an FSSAI license is also required if the entrepreneur wants he can also get his business enterprise registered raw materials for dehydrated vegetables the main raw materials used in the business of dry vegetables will be fresh vegetables only before starting the business of drying vegetables, you need to know what types of vegetables can be dried and stored. We can dry vegetables like tomato, chili, cabbage, beetroot, garlic, radish, ginger, mushroom, brinjal, potato, carrot, etc. That's why the entrepreneur should start this project near the vegetable growing area. The entrepreneur can also change his products depending on the production of different vegetables in different seasons. 
but drying means it is very important to know how to dry it. Required Machinery for Dehydrating Vegetables Business The machinery depends on the capacity the entrepreneurs want to set up the plant. So first know what machinery an entrepreneur needs to start dehydrating vegetables. Vegetable washing tank with slicer, cuber, etc. Balancing tank with thermostat control. Stacking tray for vegetables. Pre-cooling facility for vegetables. Vibratory shaker. Fluidized bed dryer for dehydrating with complete electrical equipment and attachments. Hot water boiler with attachment. Filling and sealing machine with attachment. Manufacturing process of dehydrated vegetables. In this you have to go through many processes. Only then you can dry the green vegetable. You can buy cheap and fresh vegetables from farmers. Because if you buy directly from vegetable farmers, you can get more fresh vegetables in less work. After that you have to spread the vegetables in your feeding area. After that you have the sorting factor in those vegetables. In this you can take out the spoiled vegetables and serve them on the side. And you can take good vegetables. After that you have to wash those vegetables in hot water. For this you can use a boiler. You have to wash it well in that. After that you have to do the process of peeling and cutting. All the vegetables have to be chopped. For further processing you have to take a 5 stage dryer in which is used to dry the vegetables. After that you have to take the water out of it. This means it has to be waxed. After that grading of vegetables is done. After the dried vegetables are subjected to temperature control, in this you have to refrigerate the vegetables. After this it is sorted and the metal part is removed from it. This process is called metalling. After that it has to be weighed and packed. In this process you can do it in small and big pockets. Marketing for dehydrated vegetable business. In today's time people do not have time to go to the market and buy vegetables. For this reason people prefer to use its ready-made dehydrated vegetables. So first you will have to search for such people who will use the dehydrated vegetables. These products are used in hotels and food industry. And if we talk about growth in hotels, then every year a growth of 16% is seen in this market. Because of this it can be very profitable. In this the company making food products also makes use of dehydrated vegetables. You can also export it to foreign countries. In this you can make small pockets and sell them in small shops in the market. You have a lot of growth in this. If you want to know more information about this business, please check our website and the link in the video description. We hope in this video, it helped you to initiate your own business. If you like the video, please give it a like and comment. Thank you for watching friends. For more business ideas, subscribe to New Business Ideas.